It's Evelina Mallet. Hey, as saying greetings and salutations. And I wish to say, after my last two videos, which were, you know, basically rants, I wanted to scale back just a bit, you know, not be as angry. Got enough angry black women out there. <sighs> Anyways, this one is just a personal list kind of thing. Okay? You can like it or not. I happen to be a watcher of Awesome, Channel Awesome, I believe. I love most of the work they do, and this is just my basic list of favorite people that I have there. And it's going to go off as, you know, what I have to say. It's just a personal list. Don't take it seriously. Don't, don't think of this as, oh, I hate this person, so I don't think she, he or she should exist. But, yeah. Just enjoy it for what it is. First one, I will have to say, is CR. The reason why I say CR is I think from the moment I started watching him, I kind of enjoyed how he sort of enjoyed his nostalgia. That he didn't beat up on it, he didn't hate on it as much as the nostalgia critic did, so you know what he's going to be at this list. Just already, maybe. Yeah, stick around and find out. You might be surprised. Hey. So yeah, I liked how I loved how you explained all the bromies and yeah. I'll get into a video about that too, because I'll admit I'm one of the few people who got blindsided by it too, like what? Anyways. Okay. Next would be nostalgia chip. This was after I learned about Nostalgia Critic and saw Nostalgia Chick. Now, I liked her, again, because she wasn't as rough with her, rough as Doug. She still had a bite to her, but she wasn't as nasty, and I kind of like that, oddly enough, when it comes to female characters, because I don't really think a woman should cuss. But I don't think they should be disallowed from cussing. You get the idea, like, eh, I don't want them to cuss, but if they cuss, they cuss. You know, it, as, if it's an accidental thing, then I go, eh, you know, it just never really looks good for a woman to cuss. So that was another reason why I enjoy her videos. The next thing is, and I found out about this guy later, but I'll get to him. Um, I probably would say I enjoy Phelous. You know, I didn't get a lot of the comedy that he was doing. It was just really weird. I was trying to think, maybe he's trying to be like Nightmare on Elm Street kind of funny. Like, we're supposed to laugh at all the horribleness in it, you know. And I could laugh at it on objectively, but I don't think it's really something you just kind of point and laugh at it, like, oh, you're kind of like, Wow, <laughs> that's just sick. And that's it, and it just keeps you watching. And, you know, it just kind of increases that horribleness in the character to be laughing at something that's really not all that funny. Hey. Hey. And maybe that's what he was trying to do, you know? That, that, that was the comedy of a lot of those bad horror films of the 80s and 90s. Hey. Oh, and then next would be obscure slippet. I just thought she was funny. Nothing really special. I sort of like the redhead. I, you know, I, being this as an, I find that an interesting hair color for a woman. Okay? And for a man. Either gender is fine. Um, but I liked her, and I sort of like having like a female version of that. It doesn't matter, but... I sort of like that she's grown a little. I enjoyed her, you know, interpretation of her fashion. <laughs> and from when she was a little kid, I go, yeah, we all had those really weird, fan picky things, did we, as children? Um, 
I would say Nella would be next on the list, but I don't really think much of Nella. Okay. She basically is her, you know, belated, was it, what, what was she called? Belated something. Sorry, it's on my neck. <laughs> belated, or B. Sorry, folks, I'm trying to use the camera as a mirror, and I think I got, huh? Dash it all. Okay, finally. I swear. 80s never ends, does it? Glitter all over the ends. That's how you know I'm 90s and 80s, child. No glitter. Your honor's skin will be found. Anyways. Um... I think I enjoyed her spin-off show that she might have had at one point. And I sort of like her being the something pain in the neck kind of just sidekick, doesn't get any respect kind of thing. I enjoy that. I the next thing would be I think Todd in the Shadow. And the reason why I like Todd in the Shadows is I really didn't like Taylor Swift, as you noted from my other video. Well, I'm not going to bother the link in any ways, but I don't like it. I think her one little bit. Um, but watched her anyways. I watched it just for the... I knew I was not going to like this girl, kind of, too, but I listened to her anyways. I also like his introspective into other stuff that that he did. I like how he makes fun of oh, a lot of today's pop music because I'll admit, even though I'm a uh, pop, even though I like some pop music, some of it is just bad, bad. Okay, but it's gotten better. Maybe it's just they grown. We realized, okay, if we continue to do that, we're going to lose even more fans. And, and then, next on the list would be Link Car. And part of the reason why I love Link Car is it's really over the top pop culture references. I like that he references to MST3K. And a lot in this show with his, you know, robots. That's especially Polio, that he basically is. To take off from that. I love MST3K as a child. Or at least I watched it with my my parental my uh paternal figure. No, I'm not distancing myself from him, I just feel what gives him a more heightened turn for what is known as father. However I enjoyed seeing it because, well, I sort of understand, I always like the whole commentary thing in films and movies. It's reviewers or otherwise, it's just funny to watch. But, because it's just funny to see someone have their weird take on a movie like, Oh, look! Pretty girl! About to get eaten by giant velociraptor! Her. Oh, no! Man about to puff have Kung Pao chicken for dinner as he fights with ninjas? Oh, ha yeah. ha! Yeah, I get the idea. And I play. That's a crowd. Anyways. And then I hate to put Nostalgia Critic here, but, you know, he said the best for the last kind of thing. I enjoy him for. In did you see me to channel awesome? I have to finish it. Okay. Last bit. No, I'll tell you the real reason why I like Nostalgia. I like a lot of his stuff. I like his parodies. I like it. One being Captain Planet. Some of it was funny. Most of the time, whenever I'm watching him, he could just be really off guard. Maybe that's part of the reason why I kind of like him and hate him. 
at the same time. I guess not hate him, but not like him either. And part of the reason why he catches me off guard is, it's like, does he really gotta hit me that hard with my nostalgia? I mean, I like it. I understand people don't have to like it too, but, oh my god, give it a rest, folks. As I grew up with this as a child, does not mean I'm just like everyone else who watched the show. And, that's just like any other fan out there, not all fans of Taylor Swift are complete idiots. I'm sure I'll encounter more, but, yeah, they're up there on the list somewhere. Okay, no offense, but they're up there, probably. They're right out there and doing God knows what to someone else's YouTube, or Facebook, or whatever. Just do us a favor. Do a real video. Webcams. Great device for this sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. Um... I did like his other parodies, and I think he's done very well. And he's grown a lot. And I like that he no longer really hates on his nostalgia. In fact, I sort of like that they moved from that to doing more of a, well, let's, let's just dislike the new current nostalgia, if you get what we mean. You know, meaning the 2000s. My dislikable era. Oh, and oh, I'm sorry, I made a made a mistake. He's not the last one, and it's not because he's the least. It's because I forgot I usually watch this guy too. But I like Erod. I sort of like that he's Hispanic, but not because I think I think you guys have to have a Hispanic person on the show. It's just. We don't really have that many that I know. But I love watching his reviews, and I think he's rather funny, and pretty much as good as anyone else on my channel also. <sighs> um, I love how he loves Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I watched the movie, because of this obscure loop that told me so. So, well, yeah, it's pretty good. But I enjoy Erod for his... For a lot of his reviews, I like that he beat up on, just recently beat up on Shrek. Well, okay, he didn't beat up on it, but he kind of pointed out all the little flaws with the movie. And I'll give my personal opinion on Shrek 4. I was actually kind of disappointed with it, but hey, as long as we don't come with Shrek 5, all will be well. I'm not kidding. All will be well. Um, I would say Shrek 3 was my favorite because whether they reference it or not, or, you know, well, they did reference it. I like King Arthur. What can I say? I don't see myself much as a princess type. I usually like the non-princess type Disney films because, you know, something. If we turned it around and did Disney princes, I think most women would have to say, Disney's pretty sexist all around, no offense to Disney. You're doing fairy tales, and well, fairy tales, whether we like it or not, are somewhat sexist. But I don't think they're meant to be sexist, so you get what I mean. I think they were just trying to do a nicer version. But usually I like Disney's other stuff. I think with their side movies anyways. Next, being Shrek 2. Shrek 2 was okay. Shrek 1... Let's just put it this way. The first two I just liked from the music. The third one got me. The fourth one lost me. So, yeah. It's kind of like I came late in the... And maybe it's because of my age. That's just all to it. Maybe it is my age. But, you know, I didn't get the whole pop culture. Oh my god. And not because it went over my head and because I was young, but because it was stupid. You know, I, I hate saying this, but I kind of see why a young person like me, if you're being dragged to a film with an older person, no offense to anyone who 
No, it's good to take your child to see films, okay? That's fine. Please let them be films that they can enjoy on their own. However, why can't we make films that kids can watch by themselves without mom and dad constantly telling them little bits and nonsensical stuff that they don't, they're not paying attention to anyway. They're just trying to enjoy the film. And they don't want to explain, they just want to enjoy it. Anyways, I guess those days are gone, but anyways, I enjoyed his reviews and uh, look forward to watching all of these guys. Um, yeah, I also forgot what to mention about Linkara. Oh, yes. Another reason why I do enjoy Linkara is for his recent review of Marvel. But I will do that in another video because I actually am yeah, running over the time I should be running. Anyways, this is everything on my list signing up and telling you to follow her on Tumblr, Twitter, and check out my new fan fiction. It's awesome. At least I hope you think it's awesome. Anyways, audio.